Whether it's Barbie dolls, autographs, or movie set props, there are so many ways people can treasure pop culture. The MeTV original series Collector's Call is back for season two with twice as many episodes. Show Lisa Welchel joins me now with some details on the show. Thanks for being here. My pleasure. Thanks for having me. Now, I understand you guys have a lot of celebrities on this season, starting with uh, an Olympian, I guess, this Sunday, correct? That's right, Scott Hamilton. That's pretty awesome. What have you learned about some of these people based on what they're collecting? Well, you can learn a lot about somebody with their collection. Mostly you can learn about their childhood, and that's what we're learning about collections is nine and a half out of ten times it has something to do with their childhood, whether it's trying to hold on to a relationship or a memory or a moment or just a season in time that was special. Uh, it's just holding on to something, a memory, which what's, what makes it perfect for me, TV, which stands for Memorable Entertainment Television. I think it's why uh, me, TV and Sa is, like that are so popular and those shows that we grew up when we're still wanting to watch them today. Yeah, speaking of shows we grew up with, you spent years obviously playing Blair from the Facts of Life, and you've got a special kind of Facts of Life episode for Collector's Call, too, I understand. Yeah, it was very special to me. We did a show uh, uh, highlighting Charlotte Ray's memorabilia. She passed in 2016, and her son Larry called us girls saying he was going through some of her things, and he had some duplicates, and would we be interested? And of course we were. And then I was interested as I heard more about what he was finding. I thought, wow, I think the viewers would love to see her memorabilia and her collections. And so uh, it was a it's a fabulous episode because not only do we see what she'd collected over the years, but I learned more about her filming that episode than I learned working with her for 10 years and knowing her for 40 years because this was all of her, um, her, her work from the years prior to Facts of Life. And she has an entire body of work from Broadway to recording to, she was Molly the mail lady on Sesame Street. And so having the mail lady hat, so we learn so much by people's collections and by things that they have held on to that were meaningful. And so it really does give us insight to the person. So to be able to have insight into Charlotte what Ray made it a very special episode for me and I think for the viewers as well. Well, speaking of music, you recorded some music in the 70s with the Mickey Mouse Club, your own album in the 80s. Have you ever found someone have your album in their collection? Yeah, as a matter of fact, that is kind of fun. I've been in the business since I was 12, so uh, many times I do uh, visit these homes of collectors, and, you know, I take it, I, I choose to take it as a compliment that I'm considered retro and vintage and this something that I've done <laughs> is now a collectible. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. Are you collecting anything yourself, or have you collected anything yourself, anything from your past show, from the Facts of Life? I wish I had had the forethought to do that. I didn't. My my aunt uh, owned an antique store as I was growing up, so every time we traveled together, and I traveled, I always traveled with my aunt, my grandmother, and my mom, and so she was always collecting things. And thankfully, my grandmother did keep a lot of things, especially from Mickey Mouse Club, because she was my guardian on that show. But I didn't think to keep anything from Facts of Life, and I wish that I had, because that's just, it's in my genes, but apparently it it just bypassed me well good thing that those episodes still you can still catch them on TV so that's fun too tell us a little bit about some of the rare things that you guys see this season yeah there are there's lots of incredible things for one thing there's a, we do have a show a, a man who collects he had to have an uh, uh, buy an airplane hanger because he collects vehicles from James Bond's oh, mo movies. Cool. So he has a submarine from the show. He has a helicopter from the show. Of course, the fancy cars. But he also has like a tank from the show, um, torpedoes. So that's pretty odd collection right there. I mean, certainly we have Barbie collector and Lego collectors, and those are those are interesting. Um, we did have a collector who collected. Um, hair, presidential, Ooh. locks of presidential hair. Wow. So, some creepy, but you gotta have the creepy. I think that makes it fascinating. Beatles I, collectors, um, you know, just you name it, somebody's collecting it. I think the creepier it is, the more interested people always can be uh, about that stuff. Yeah, definitely. All right, Lisa, thank you so much for joining us this morning. We really appreciate it.
Thank you. And you can watch season two of Collector's Call Sundays at 8.30 p.m. on our sister station, MeTV. Your local providers can be found there on the screen.